as the standoff between fighters from the Al-Qaeda-linked group Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant and pro-government Sunni tribes continues in Fallujah, the humanitarian crisis gets worse. Some fuel and food is getting into the town, but it's not enough. There's no gas available in Fallujah. Government services aren't provided. There's no oil, no gas, no petrol. These terrible conditions are what is affecting the people of Fallujah. Pro-government Sunni tribes have called on the fighters from the armed group to leave and avert a full-scale attack on the city. Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki spoke to the nation in a televised address and urged the tribal leaders to take the initiative. I call on them to take action and we are with them. We stand beside them constantly and support them. The army is ready, but we want them to take the initiative in order to pull the rug from under the feet of those evil people and to drive them outside the cities, where they will be targeted by our armed forces and chased away by the people of Ambar and Fallujah. I call on them to unite and to take a stance to prevent a deterioration in the security situation in Fallujah city. An interim deal has been struck, which has seen Iraqi army forces begin to withdraw from Ambar province and the local tribes with police forces move to retake police checkpoints. And with ISIL fighters not wanting to surrender, a ground assault by Sunni tribes may well be the only option left. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera.